Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters uh, last week. Yes, I know, it's a little late, but let's talk about Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping, which opened last week to uh, disappointing numbers at the box office, but was the movie that everyone I knew was telling me that they were planning to go out and see. Liars! Every single one of them. And that's a shame, because Pop Star is one of those slight, zany comedy gems like Anchorman, like Zoolander, that will find an audience after the fact, on cable or home video. So I guess what I'm saying is, we'll see a sequel about 10 years from now, and it will make us appreciate the original even more. So let's all just appreciate it now, while it's still in theaters, okay? That's it for the capsule review, let's get in depth. Popstar is a mockumentary in the style of a behind the music episode that chronicles the rise and fall of Connor For Real, a solo artist on the verge of decimating his career. As played by Andy Samberg, with a musical assist from his Lonely Island collaborators Akiva Schaefer and Jorma Tacone, who also both directed the film, Connor is a pampered, entitled doofus who manages to stay just likable enough to keep us rooting for him. That is actually some feat, considering that he is clearly modeled on Justin Bieber, and even the Biebs hasn't managed to keep everyone's sympathy. If you are a fan of the Lonely Island's music videos on SNL, some of which are classics, and I've included links to them in the show notes below, then you know what to expect here. Profane, silly, and irreverent songs that are catchy enough to get stuck in your head based on their musicality alone. I've got it all. to that the documentary style allowing for uncountable celebrity cameos. Seriously, if you watch the end credits, the majority of the actors listed here are playing the role of himself or herself. And the fun skewering of social media, pop music, and celebrity culture. And oh boy, do they have fun with TMZ. And you've got yourself a constant source of chuckles. Not every joke lands, but enough of them do, and at a consistent pace, that this one is an easy recommendation. Now, that being said, it's not for everybody. The plot itself is fairly predictable to anyone who has ever seen a Behind the Music episode or an SNL sketch before. One could make the argument that the movie itself is just one long SNL sketch, and you wouldn't be wrong. Sure, there are some occasional long set pieces, each with their own unique laughs, but the game of the movie, to use a sketch comedy term, remains constant throughout. You know exactly where this movie is going, and you know exactly how every scene is going the moment it begins. You know the moment each song begins that you're gonna want to pay attention and you just wait for the lyrics to get outrageous and then lo and behold they're outrageous and you laugh. Mona Lisa, you're an overrated piece of shit. You know every few minutes Connor is gonna say or do something that is dumb as a bag of rocks like taking a number two in the bathroom of the Anne Frank house. Do not go in there. Woo! <laughs> Ace Ventura. But you don't go to movies like this for innovation. You don't even go to these movies for the plot. The form is exactly what you expect it to be. Just like if you go into a comedy club, you know you're gonna get a person standing in front of a brick wall with a microphone saying funny things. Very basic setup, very basic form. It's the jokes themselves that you go for, and the jokes in Popstar fly at you fast and furious. Did one of them not land? No problem, here comes another one. And that one surely will. Connor surrounds himself with people who are agreeable. <laughs> Over and over and round and round we go. Your feelings regarding pop star Never Stop Never Stopping will all boil down to how you feel about the Lonely Island's crude and profane music video style. I personally think they're hilarious. I could watch their YouTube channel for at least 90 minutes at a time, and I giggled and chuckled my way through this entire film. If you've never heard of the Lonely Island, think Weird Al Yankovic, who is the spiritual godfather to the Lonely Island, and who also cameos in this movie. Look, a lot of celebrities cameo here, and the best part is most of them are given great comedic bits. They don't just appear for their own sake, but they also lend an air of authenticity to the rockumentary style. While Popstar indeed does not come close to the mockumentary heights of This Is Spinal Tap, it does continue that film's legacy and takes it into the new century. My usual system for grading movies kind of has me broken down a little bit. I definitely want to give Popstar a recommendation, and a medium bag of popcorn I have always felt was a mild recommendation at best, whereas a large was for a movie that exceeded expectations in a very notable way. I had a lot of fun with Popstar, although it was a collection of jokes, or one big long joke depending on how you look at it, rather than a fully successful narrative film. So, because I'm the Colonel, and I can do whatever I want, I am now introducing a new variant of my rating system. Drumroll please! I award Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping a medium bag of popcorn with a soda. Yes, enjoy. It's satisfying, if not overwhelmingly so. There you go, like a like a concession stand combo. 
That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, while you're there, click subscribe. So you can keep up with all the latest episodes, and so we can keep doing what we do. In the meantime, leave your comments below, and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. Thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I'm so humble. <laughs>